Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSYS Learning Forum. And you can go there and uh, download free software, such as what I'll be demonstrating today, and uh, participate in discussions on uh, 3D design, explicit dynamics materials. Pre-processing and structures are my favorites, and then uh, discuss physics and structural mechanics. So today I'm demonstrating converting STL files of bones into solid geometry. And to do that, I'm going to go file open and open up an STL file. STL files are often created when the um, CT imaging has taken place and then the image has been post-processed in software that finds the surface of a bone and puts that in this STL file. So we have uh, the two main bones in a knee um, and we're going to turn this into geometry because you can't mesh this. So uh, we do that using the facets tab. And since we have two bones, the first thing we want to do is separate all because this is just one STL file. And by separating, we get two bones and then we can um, give them uh, separate um, names. And so we're going to actually make a new component for the femur. And uh, I'll put, um, I think that is the femur, I'll put that in this. And then we can uh, open that file on its own. So now um, we're just working with one bone. And uh, to turn this into geometry, we first need to convert it from an open faced to a um, closed body. And if we check the facets on this body, it's, it's um, perfect, just not watertight. And that is easily made watertight by clicking on holes. And we want to cap it off and uh, say yes. So there and now we have the low, the icon has changed and it, it has a cap. Uh, what that lets us do now is go over to uh, tools and use auto skin. So we're going to auto skin this body and uh, just taking the defaults, see what kind of job it will do. I'll pause the video while it processes. So that may have taken a minute, uh, and what has the output is now a completely um, filled surface body that closely follows the contours of the facet body. And uh, I can even uh, just delete the facet body now. So if I use the select tool and hit delete, I now have a part file that's pure geometry, and this will be much easier to mesh. And uh, what you've noticed is the patch uh, wraps around the corner, but all we need to do is make a plane such as this and use the M key to move that plane just slightly, sorry, to, to move this plane slightly down. And uh, when it's below the top, maybe not that far down, but we'll maybe down one millimeter, we can uh, split body with that plane and throw away the top. And so now we have one clean face at the top. So that is the uh, process for taking high quality STL data and uh, creating a bone surface that is geometry, not facets. And uh, in a future video, I'll show how we might take these bones faces to create other parts like the surface of cartilage that would uh, wrap around the bone. Um, and that's, that's as simple as picking some faces with the control key 
we can pick a few faces and do control C, control V. And now we have um, a surface that we can use to build up another piece for um, cartilage, for example. But that will do it for this video. Thanks for watching.